Αστικά κρίση, τι γίνεται, κάτσε. Once again, we come to the Spring Bayou for our sacred tradition of the immersion of the Holy and Precious Cross. The cross enters the waters to sanctify the waters, to redeem the waters, to make of the bitter taste of this world, which is called Mara in the book of Exodus, a sweetness to surpass even the finest honey. It is said that the Israelites had crossed over the Red Sea. They went for three days in the wilderness with no water to drink until they came to Mara. But the springs there were bitter and undrinkable. And Moses, obedient to God, cast a tree that God had showed him into the waters and they became sweet. And the people were refreshed and satisfied. Today, here in Bayou, in Tarpon Springs, we follow this example. For God has shown us time and again that what tree will bring forth sweetness? What tree will bestow happiness? What tree will instill goodness in our lives? And this is the tree of the cross to Stavru Toxilo. Today, we cast the tree of life into this Bayou to manifest not only our obedience to the Lord, but in response to our own thirst for goodness and righteousness as well. The Israelites had gone parched and dry for three days. Think of it, to go without a drop of water for three whole days. But some have gone thirsty for their entire life. And the only water they have found on their journey of life are the bitter springs of Mara. This is why we came to the Bayou today, to sweeten every person's experience with this plunging of the Holy Cross into the waters and to open the food gates of spiritual refreshment. The young divers give us hope that each of us can lay hold of the victory of the Cross. As brave the depths of to seek our Cross, let each of us find the courage to descend into the depths of our own souls so as to discover the meaning of the cross in our own lives. My beloved Christians, let us all take that plunge. Just as these marvelous young people dive into the depths to retrieve the Holy Cross, may we also lay hold of it for ourselves as well. May we embrace the precious life and life-giving cross and raise it at the standards of our life. In this way, we shall find the refreshment that never perishes and becomes a fountain within our own souls as the Lord promised. Through the power of the holy, precious and life-giving cross, Amen. Today the nature of the waters is made holy and Jordan is divided and holds back the flow of its waters. 
as it sees the master washing himself. Il thes Christe vasilev, kedulikon baptisma lavin, spedis agathe, ipotu prodromo ekiron, Dia ta samartia simon fi lanfro. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Had the voice of the one crying in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. You came, O Lord, having taken the form of a servant, asking for baptism, though you did not know sin. The ones who saw you and were afraid, the forerunner trembled and cried out, saying, How will the lamp enlighten the light? The servant places hand on the master. Savior, who take away the sin of the world, make me and the waters holy. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, I want you to know that our fathers were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the supernatural rock which followed them, and the rock was Christ. This is Nicole Rogers. We're taking a live look in here in Tarpon Springs for the Epiphany. We have young men, 68 of them, waiting on the boats. Let's take a listen in to the Gospel. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Ties in the drawn by the Jordan. And immediately he was coming up from the water, he saw the heavens being parted, and the Spirit like a dove coming down upon him. And there was a voice from heaven, You are my beloved Son, to whom I am pleased. Thank the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. The stability of the holy churches of God and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Elpidophorus, the Honorable Presbyter, the, uh, the Diagnet in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the pre Let us pray to the Lord for our country, the president, all those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord for this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them. Let us pray to the Lord for this water to be sanctified by the power, operation, and visitation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord that we may be spared from all us. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, in the ages of ages. 
peace be thrown. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We could look there and hear us, Lord who accepted to be baptized in Jordan and to sanctify the waters and bless us all to signify our calling as such and count us worthy to be filled with your sanctification through partaking a spring of this water and let it be for us, Lord, for healing of soul and body. Σιγάρι ο αγιασμός των τυχών και των σωμάτων ημών και εσύ την δόξαν και ευχαριστίαν και προσκύνησαν ένα πέμπομεν Συντον άρχους πατρί και του Παναγίου και αγαθός της οποίος ο Πνεύματος είναι και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Εν η ορδάνη βαπτίζα η φωνή προς μαρτυρήσει αγάπη των Ξεϊών ονομάζωσα και το πνεύμα ενήδη περιστερά All right, I see one of the young men has got the cross. Let's take a look, 68 of them down there. Now they're opening the gates, letting these young men come back up here on the dock. Here the water's about 62 degrees this afternoon here at Tarpon Springs. What an honor it is to get that cross. The young man who got this cross now blessed for the entire year to come. Thousands of people here, if you just look here in Tarpon Springs, thousands upon thousands of people here to mark this celebration commemorating the birth of Christ. And here we have the boy, the young man now who's blessed for the year to come. Calling you is beloved son and the spirit holding up the cross. The young man now blessed for the year to come. What a moment here in Tarpon Springs. Towel now wrapped around him, celebrating here in Pinellas County. Just listen into these celebrations. Sixteen years old George Stannis. Right. Hey, um, Saba. Now got the cross. Stay right here. I gotta go to the church. Now the men walking out and what a celebration here in Tarpon Springs. Proskinisis to Gargeni Doros Iphoni Prosemar. Now each of the 68 young men now coming out of the bayou, each of them comes to kiss the cross and congratulate the young man now blessed for the year to come. So plenty more young men waiting to get out of the water. What a moment here in Tarpon Springs. You know, I spoke with a young man earlier. He's 18 years old. He came all the way from Michigan, and he's been doing this since his birth. He was actually born on January 6th, 
on the Epiphany, and now he comes here to Tarpon Springs, which is the biggest Epiphany celebration in the Western Hemisphere. He comes every single year just to watch this moment take place. He's one of the thousands that wait all year for this moment and this celebration, marking the commemoration of Christ's baptism. Right now you're taking a look at the young men coming out of the bayou. Each comes, they get a towel, and they kiss the cross. And the man holding that cross is the one that, that got it from the bayou. He was the first one to get it, and he will now be blessed for the year to come. When you were baptized in the Jordan, O Lord, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest. Are you guys the family? And the what does this moment mean for you guys? Father, what does this moment mean for you? Oh, well, it's great. It's important for the kids, and we're excited for George, our nephew. And so, you know, of course, that's what you want to, you know, him, he's blessed for the year to come as a family, you know, just being in this moment right here, what, what's going through your head? Exciting, because my other grandson got it three years ago. This is the second grandson. Oh, wow, family tradition almost here in Tarpon Springs. We have the family of the young men who got the cross. So you want it three years ago. I said, what was that moment like for you? I think five years ago. Five years ago. Oh, my God. And what was the moment like for you? It's a moment that I know George is never going to forget, and he's going to want to remember every day. And there he goes. He's taking that cross. A moment to be remembered here in Tarpon Springs. George Stamas. Axios. Next is the rest of the young men will then carry George all the way back to the church with that cross. We're taking a listen and the family is celebrating. Oxios! And there he goes! Off to the church. And his cousins are carrying him. How important is that? Now we're gonna go, we're gonna try to run all the way over here to catch them on their walk to the church. And they're going and they're off. Right, and 
and they're going and they're off. We're running. Our photographer is now climbing a wall so that we can run and go catch this. Take a look there now. Walking down the road, carrying the young man who now got the cross. What a moment to be remembered here in Tarpon Springs. I knew it. I knew it. Good job, Georgie. What does this moment mean for you? Axios! Axios! I've been on since I was young and I'm truly blessed to catch the cross. How surreal is this feeling for you, George? Crazy. Still shocked. Could you ever have imagined this moment? I could. I did multiple times. Awesome. Axios! Axios! What a blessing, Georgie. Blessing. Thank all this in, baby. Carry his hand up, Michael. Keep his hand up. Keep him up. Stand up. Georgie Stammons. Keep coming. Oxios! Now they're continuing their walk down the street. It is quite a hike to the church, I will say. But it is a moment George will never forget. And what a moment this truly is. If you take a look at the young man carrying George right now, he has a dislocated knee. He still wanted to carry him, to bring him and be a part of this special moment. And you know, we talked to George's family. They say his cousin actually won it just five years prior. And what a moment this is to celebrate for their family. I spoke to that cousin and he says that it's truly a moment George will never forget. They do have a police escort. And just take a look, these young men, this really is quite a walk, especially to be carrying yet another young man. But it is a moment that these young men will never forget. And it's all a part of the commemoration to honor the baptism of Christ. Now we had the releasing of a dove. We heard the gospel. The Archbishop blessed the waters. And now if you take a look, they just made it to the church and they will be headed inside. Here, we've now made it to the church, and now we're just kind of waiting. Still, these young men are not giving up. Now they're turning him around. Still holding him, not letting him touch the ground. Now they're getting all 68 of the young men that dove into the bayou to come here right in front of the church before they let anyone inside. They want to make sure that all 68 divers end up right here before anyone enters that church.
Now that young man at the top that has the cross in his hand, he got the cross. His name is George. He is a 16-year-old now to be blessed for the rest of the year. Divers up on the stairs. Divers in the stairs. Everyone else off the stairs. Back up a little bit. Now they just put George down. He is the 16-year-old that got that cross from the bayou. He is now entering the church. He will be the first to enter the church. He's walking right up there to the door. There he is. Celebrating what an accomplishment in something that we spoke to his family and they say means the world, a moment that he will surely never forget right here in Pinellas County at the largest epiphany celebration in the Western Hemisphere. Please allow only the divers and the clergy on the steps. No one else allowed in the church. I will say it is quite a hike from the bayou to the church. They're making sure that every one of those divers and everyone who's part of this church gets here on the stairs in front of the church before anyone gets let in. And that's what we're taking a look at right now. Hold it up. hold it up. And just take a look at just how many people are here in Tarpon Springs. Thousands upon thousands of people. And that's why they really do say that this is the largest Epiphany celebration in the Western Hemisphere. It's something that people wait all year for January 6th to mark this occasion. It is a time to commemorate the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River. And that's exactly what they did here this morning and early this afternoon. You can see just how many people are here. You walked all the way from the bayou down several streets to get here to the church. All 68 of those divers came here. 65 divers. 65 divers were now here. Alright guys, we need space. They are now opening the doors of the church, but no one's going inside just yet. Once again, that man who got the cross, his name is George. He is 16 years old, and his cousin actually got the cross five years ago here in this celebration. I spoke to their family, and they say that it's truly now sort of a tradition for their family to get this cross. They're, they said that they are very blessed, and they are just so thankful to be a part of this tradition and being able to commemorate the baptism of Christ here. <laughs> yes, hi, how are you guys? And what a moment here in Tarpon Springs. Plenty of the divers now so excited to be here and so just blessed to be a part of this tradition in this commemoration. What a moment here in Tarpon Springs. Some, we're hearing 65 to 68 divers in total. And George is the one that got that cross. His cousin tells me that he got that cross five years ago, and he says it's truly a moment that he will never forget, and he knows how much it meant to George to be able to get that cross, to be blessed for the year to come, and he says it surely won't be a moment that George will forget either. Thank you. 
The Archbishop will be coming and giving a gift to each of the divers. There are dozens of divers, 65 to 68 divers. He has a gift for each of them. They will allow him to walk through. Once he is done giving gifts, then George will enter the church with his family. Guys, I think my shirt's a little wet. church please the church is not open to the public everyone out of the church please well, while we're waiting here you guys want to answer some questions yeah well we'd love to answer some questions. all right what does this mean for you guys everything so not everybody gets to dive you guys are a part of the 65 people who got to dive being here today what was it like for you guys it's, 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 it's definitely a one in a lifetime privilege. experience yeah. here. I mean, you have three years to dive, but this, this is my last year diving, so it was, it was something special seeing all these people here. Because my the two years, last year wasn't as full, and then the year before that it was COVID, so you didn't get to see that many people. And then for you guys, you know, obviously it's a big moment. For anybody that doesn't understand, like you guys were saying earlier, there is one winner, but there are no losers. Tell me about that. Well, when the priest throws in the holy water and he bless us over there on by the boat and passing of the fleet, but um, we're all blessed to be here, and like I said, there's no losers, there's only a winner. Is this the moment that you guys look for all year round? Oh, yeah. it's, definitely, it's definitely a highlight, that's for sure. Let's ask you a question. Today, so what'd you do from start to finish? What'd you do today? what I do? Like, you want the, you're the itinerary? <laughs> itinerary? From the start of the Everything. activities. Uh, we walked around, I went in the boat, <laughs> I jived in, I didn't win. Yeah, and I came here. Nobody won. We all received a blessing. Oh, yeah, we all received a blessing. Yeah. You guys all did receive a blessing. You just, you just and what about your families? Does you, what do your families have to say about you being a part of this tradition? They, I mean, they all love to see it. It's a great day for like everyone to come out and like come together and watch this. Yeah. I mean, I remember when I was little, I would come. His brother was older. He would die. We would all come, and it's it's always a fun time. And for you guys, you know, like you were saying, you've done this. You said you have siblings. Do either of you guys have siblings? Yeah, I have a younger sibling. Were they going to do this as well? Yeah. And so it's really a tradition that continues for years oh, yeah. to come. Continues. Like younger cousins, like next year and the year after, we'll be, we'll be here watching them for sure. You can interview me next year. I'll be a watcher. All right, then you'll be viewing. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it for your time. You're taking a live look here in Tarpon Springs. You can see George all the way up there, 16 years old. He's the one that got that cross from the bayou, now blessed for the year to come. We're waiting for the Archbishop now. He will walk through. He has a gift for every one of these divers. And here comes the Archbishop. I have a question for you, though. Can I get your phone number? <laughs> and once again, we're here in Tarpon Springs waiting on the Archbishop. Oh, we have some technical difficulties. You can hear that loud buzz, but they're waiting to let the Archbishop currently waiting to get through the crowd here in Tarpon Springs. Sorry, I didn't even get a yes right now. Greatest Riz 1 through 10. <laughs> the Archbishop now coming through the crowd, waiting to get into the church here in Tarpon Springs. 
Shout out to Greek Voice TV. And this is all for the Epiphany celebration. It is the largest in the Western Hemisphere, and it's right here in Tarpet Springs. If you're taking a listen now, we had quite a day, quite a morning and afternoon. So they walked all the way from the church down to the bayou. The Archbishop said the gospel, blessed the waters, they released white dove, and then he threw that cross into the bayou. Well, if you're taking a look at the Archbishop now walking up the stairs to the church, he now has a gift for every one of these divers. I love you. And you can see the Archbishop up there. Thank you. He, like I said, he will give a gift to every one of those divers, and then George will go inside the church. That's George you're taking a look at now. All right, so what you're seeing now is the gifts that the Archbishop has for each of the divers. There are 65 to 68 divers. Each of them gets a gift. And they only get three years to do this. It's for young men here. They only get three years. They jump in the bayou and they all go after that cross. But regardless, they were all blessed this morning by the Archbishop, something that these young men say means the world to them. Now they're all walking up the stairs. You can see each of them getting a gift. Can we, can we get some free young blood and free gunner? <laughs> Sixty-five gifts now. They're all Ladies going up the stairs. Please clear the streets so we can open up the streets for traffic. Please clear the roadways. And as so we can you can hear, the they will shortly be opening up those roadways so those traffic issues that we told you earlier on WFLA soon to be cleared. As soon as each of these sixty-five to sixty-eight young men get their gift, then they will be headed off with their families and George who got the cross will then be going into the church. Alright, the cloud is ding dwindling down as you can see each of these boys now getting a gift. And then after that, George will be going inside with his family. You know, from what I spoke to his family, they say that this really does mean a lot because his cousin actually got the cross five years ago, and now it's just a moment for their family to remember once again. And I spoke to that cousin, and he says he knows exactly how George feels, and he knows that this is a moment that he will never forget. So not only did George retrieve the cross from the bayou, but then all of those 65 to 68 divers then picked him up and carried him all the way back to the church. You're taking a live look now at the Archbishop giving each of these divers their gift. They each kiss his hand and then they grab their gift and then they go to rejoin their families after a long day here in Tarpon Springs. All right, and that is it. Now we are going to go interview George and his family. And make sure that you stay tuned for our coverage. We'll be on later editions of WFLA. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. For now, I'm going to toss it back to JB. What a moment here in Tarpon Springs. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. The very latest on this story, folks, you can find on WFLA.com, the WFLA app, as we 
show you one final look here from Eagle 8 HD. Look for Nicole Rogers, her report tonight on WFLA News Channel 8 as this wraps up our WFLA Now coverage of the 117th Epiphany Celebration live from Tarpon Spring. For all of you joining us, again, the latest on WFLA.com, the WFLA app.